this is our front garden. This is the back of the garage. And these are the steps toward our back garden. Here we've got some of the waste plants here which were a huge mess of brambles and bushes which I've been shredding up and wood chipping. This is the start of sort of composting. So I've been chipping a lot of wood uh, that was cut out from the borders and the bushes that I showed you just now. That's being composted there. I'll build some more of these so we can turn it, turn the compost into a new container and let nature do its thing. Line of the rooftops there, our house being obviously the the first on the left over at this end that first building there was probably the main house and then it stretched along in mainly what were barns yeah and a chat with the neighbors they told me that it was originally a long house so a long farmhouse and it's been divided up into packets or parcels and sold off as individual houses this piece of land that I'm on now, which is something that we purchased with the house. Now, when I say with the house, because it was actually a separate parcel of land. And it's also got a high chance of being able to build something on it if we wished. But there is a problem with that. And I'm gonna to come to that a bit later because it also affects our plans. This is where the problems with the water happen. It's not so bad as I first imagined. If we look into the hole here, there's a little bit of water that's channeling out, but not, not a huge amount. There's uh, problems with the house that actually impact on the garden. So obviously we want to sort out the problems here with the, the masonry work there, the roof, uh, and various other things. But the fundamental issue is the humidity and the moisture in the house, which is why most likely there's this big hole here is because it was excavated to take earth away from the house although we also know that there was at some point some building there but i'm pretty confident it was to free up the back of the house from the moisture that's coming through the land so you'll see that the humidity has dropped substantially since we started running the dehumidifier we're only running it on off-peak electricity hours at the moment so we're running it for a few hours through the night and a few hours at lunchtime when we get cheaper electricity 
uh, but it's still working. It's bringing down the relative humidity in the house and uh, it peaks and troughs. On the graph, it's done by an average of the day. So it doesn't show the peaks and troughs within the actual day. It just gives an average data point for that day. We're gonna replace a roof and that should make a massive difference. We'll replace the stone tiles as they are with a more modern tile. That will be lined with some sort of geotextile or vapor textile. And then within the house, we'll put uh, insulation. The gutters are also a problem. They're blocked, especially above uh, the window here. It's got cement pointing on some of it. All sorts of different materials have been used and some areas are just uh, incredibly damaged. I'm confident that by repointing the house, putting a new roof in and with the insulation inside and also with other measures such as putting a wood burning stove in and doing the floors correctly in the barn that we can have quite a positive impact on reducing the uh, humidity and moisture within the house. But then obviously we want to do something about the garden and the earth here and the hole and the drainage. So what are we thinking to sort of mitigate these water issues? Well, the first thing is we've come to the conclusion that we probably like gabion walls or gabion walls. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But we would install gabion walls around the whole area. Now behind it, you would have a gravel fill and at the bottom an agri pipe or you know, a, a drainage pipe, a perforated pipe. Surrounding the whole of that perforated pipe and the gravel would be a geotextile. So to look at it as a plan from the top, so we've got the, the roof of the property, then we've got the hole, and to the right of the hole, we've got the drainage channel, which currently runs outside the property and then enters a drain which traverses inside the property. I would have liked to have taken that lower drain, so the drain which is in the bottom of the hole, which goes to the right there, Ideally, I would like to take it to the left and around the left-hand side of the house. But the problem here is there is a slight gradient which is already going down towards that drain in the far corner. If we raise up a drain which can have the height to give us the gravity to come around the other side of the house, it's going to cause real problems for the ground level outside the doors because we would need it substantially higher to get the angle to run it all the way around the outside of the house. The rest of the drainage which is behind the gabion walls would go down the left of the house and continue as a French drain 
on the retaining wall on the gable end of the house. And so to look at an aesthetic view of the back of the house, we can see that we've got the gabion walls encompassing the hole, a tiled area at the bottom of the hole, which also has grilled uh, water drains, which are above the gravel and the French drain below, which flows to the corner drain. Above that to the right, I've put a wooden terrace at the moment but if we feel that we do need drainage on that higher bit, we can install drainage and connect it round to the drainage behind the Gabian walls. There is another factor which influences the drainage in the garden. We have two parcels, the property itself with the house and then the higher area. Now, we could possibly develop this higher area and ultimately we would require access of its own. Now, the only way to do this is to make an entrance in this wall here. Lower down the garden, at the front of the house, we have a garage, which is a retaining wall for the earth of the garden behind it. The street next to the garage running up by our property has a very high retaining wall with a hedge on top but it may be possible to open up and have a small driveway towards the back high garden. Now this does impact our plan for drains in some sense because if we were to do that we would have a path of least resistance for the water as the ground would descend to that road level. We could also put a drain at the edge and this would catch rainfall which is coming through the land and channel it down towards the street. This current plan for the drainage splits the job in two. The lower part of the house with the terrace in the hole and the gabion walls and then the drainage for the wider part of the garden. This makes it a bit more manageable for us which is helpful because uh, along with planning the renovations here we're also obviously doing the YouTube channel which is uh, an interesting experience and I'm really just finding my feet with that and along with creating the videos life is pretty busy at the moment and this is before we've even started uh, doing the manual labor on the house yet the videos do help me organize my thoughts and I appreciate people watching them by clicking like and subscribe, you're making a real difference to our home renovation project. Many thanks. Cheers.